Hey kids, welcome to Planet Bonehead. I'm Bobby, and today at Hope Headquarters, we're talking about garbage and recycling and fuel and energy. Now, you probably know that we humans make a lot of garbage. We use stuff and we throw it away every day. You may also know that we use a lot of fuel, especially fossil fuels like coal, to create electricity for our homes and buildings and oil to make gasoline for our cars. And you're probably already learning about how we need to recycle our waste and reduce the amount of fossil fuels we use. But what you may not know is that there are people who are working on a solution to all these problems using one simple machine. In fact, the technology used in this machine is over 150 years old. We could have been using the technology in this machine all along, solving these problems before they even began, but no. Nobody thought of it until a few years ago. These are my friends, Dane and Sheila from Hughes Energy Group. Their machine can take garbage right out of the landfill and turn it into a clean material called Wilson fiber, which can then be used to make fuels that will replace dirty coal and oil with clean alternatives. The machine is called an autoclave, and the process is called hyperspeed composting. This video is brought to you by Hughes Energy Group. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and tap the bell for notifications when I post a new video. Before we can understand what the autoclave does and why it's important, we first need to explore what happens to garbage after we throw it away. It all starts with each one of us. We all use stuff and then discard it. Now our garbage might have food waste, packaging, broken toys and machines, old batteries and styrofoam cups, just to name a few things. Now, many of us may already separate our garbage so some of it, like plastic, glass, and paper, can be recycled. And that's great. We need to continue doing that. The rest is going in the regular garbage. And once or twice a week, the garbage truck comes and hauls it away. Now, for most people, that's about as much as we know. We know it ends up in a landfill eventually, but we have no idea how it gets there or how long it takes. After the garbage gets taken away from your home or school, the garbage collectors take it to a special facility called a transfer station. That's an industrial facility where the garbage is sorted out before heading out to a landfill. In many transfer stations, they dump all the garbage out of the trucks onto the floor. Do not try this at home, kids. Then, the people here will sift through all the trash to find material that can be recycled instead of thrown away, or hazardous material like batteries or chemicals that we really don't want to put into our landfills. Then, everything left over is compacted or really, really, really squished down and loaded onto different, bigger trucks. These trucks then deliver the trash to the landfill, and depending on where in the country this is, they may have to travel dozens or even hundreds of miles to get there. Now that uses a lot of fossil fuels just to carry garbage around the country. And finally, they dump everything into the landfill where it sits. Some of it will decompose, but much of it, like the styrofoam cup, could take 500 years or more. That's even older than your teachers. Now, if all of this seems silly to you, well, you're not alone. See, this system was invented way back in the olden days when people didn't realize that these landfills were going to be a problem one day. My dearest Maud, today I invented the landfill. We are collecting all the city's garbage and dumping it in the empty field across town. There's nothing there now but trees and wildlife and a pretty river. We'll fill that with garbage too. It's a very big field, so I'm sure we'll never run out of room. Your odiferous husband, Reginald. So today, we're kind of stuck with this system. But if my friends Dane and Sheila have anything to say about it, this might all be changing by the time you guys grow up. See, here's the issue we have. We produce a lot of garbage, and we're running out of places to put it. Now, at the same time, we consume a lot of energy, and we're running out of fossil fuels. 
Not to mention that burning fossil fuels is really bad for the environment, but we'll tackle that in some other videos. So, we have a lot of garbage, and we need a lot of fuel. Hmm. What if there was a way to use the garbage to make fuel? And that's exactly what we can do when we use the autoclave for hyperspeed composting. So what do these words mean? Well, an autoclave is a pressure chamber. It's a long metal tube and we can fill it up with garbage and then close it up tight. Then the autoclave pushes on all that garbage with hot, hot, hot steam and lots of pressure, lots of pressure, really pushing and condensing and That's the composting part. And that only takes one hour. That's the hyperspeed part. They put the garbage in the autoclave and after only one hour, they open it up and all that garbage is converted into Wilson fiber, a renewable resource that can now be processed into clean replacements for either coal or wood pellets or gasoline. It's a win-win-win for everybody. We can clean up all our landfills and stop adding garbage to them. We can convert all that garbage into a renewable fuel source and we can keep making garbage guilt-free because we're gonna need more of it. But here's the problem. It may take some time before we can start using hyperspeed composting to get rid of our garbage. So in the meantime, we need to keep separating our garbage and recycle as much of it as possible. And we need your help. It's mission time. Hey kids, Bonehead here with your next mission. Long before your great-great-grandparents were born, people began to realize that having garbage piled up in the streets outside their houses and schools was pretty gross. They needed to do something with it. Unfortunately, the best idea they had was to pile it up in nature instead. Now looking back, that seems like a silly idea. Why would anyone think having a dump full of garbage is better than a nature preserve, or a forest, or a park? Ooh, a water park. We could have built water slides and log flumes, water rapids and wave machines. Ow. Your mission is to pretend we're starting all over again and come up with new ideas for what we can do with all our garbage. Today, we learned how we can begin converting it into a renewable resource to make fuel. What else do you think we could do with it? Could we collect it and put it somewhere that won't harm our environment? Can we destroy it somehow without creating pollution? Or can we keep the garbage and make stuff out of it? Some people can make furniture or even entire houses out of trash. I wonder if those houses smell bad. Hmm. What would you do? Bonehead out. People like Dane and Sheila are working on hyperspeed composting because they use their imaginations to come up with a solution to a big problem. And we need you to use your imagination now. Now, even if your idea is something that isn't currently possible, that doesn't mean it's a bad idea. Remember, the autoclave technology was around for over 100 years, but until recently, nobody used their imaginations to think about how to use it to turn trash into fuel. So come up with your ideas, write them down or draw a picture of them, and send them to me via email to missiontime at planetbonehead.com. Who knows? you might come up with the next amazing, world-saving adventure. After all, it's your planet too.